Hey everybody, it's Christine of Twinkle Plans for Day. Today we're gonna be doing some memory keeping. I'm gonna talk about memory planning using Happy Planners. This is their new, part of their new memory keeping line that they put out. It's basically a, a big happy planner, but instead of a planner layout, a calendar layout, you just have these open-ended, they're calling it a photo journal layout, where you really have like set, uh, places to put your pictures and journaling but it's kind of open-ended like you don't have to put like here's a lot of lines but you can also put pictures or ticket stubs or brochures anything you like and there's like guided places you know two and a half by three and a half photos they'll tell you, you can put six here and then you have like this blank page that just says good times with some lines on it and you can journal do however you want i i like this kind of layout because the way that it was done before people would just take a regular Planner, and I love this way too. Like this is great for everyday planning. This is the one I did for 2019. I documented the entire year. Um, I'll show you a little bit. I don't really do the months. So this is a sample page. And the pictures usually for this kind of planning, you take these size pictures that I took with my HP Sprocket mini printer. This works with your phone via Bluetooth and it comes out, the pictures come right out of the printer. They're the exact same size as the boxes in the big planner and they're stickers. So it's very easy to use. The problem with this is that it takes forever. If you have a whole bunch of photos to print, this just takes forever and you are of course limited to that one size. But it is a really smart, practical printer if you're just doing a weekly spread once a week and if you want to plan quickly and just not have to go anywhere to pick up your photos this is a great way to do it so this is how i planned let's uh 2019 i'm just giving you a quick flip through you're not like limited to the size i did take some a couple of bigger sized photos you you can definitely not have to do it in your typical way i did i experimented with different ways of using them like here's a big one i never finished that layout and i think there's some other yeah like this is a trip so I just put a couple of bigger photos and that worked perfectly. Like I didn't want to do a day to day kind of feel. So that's the way that people have been doing it before. Okay. And I used a big photo here as well, but I did like the structure of having the dates there. It kind of did work for me. And I did the entire year. This whole book is full, 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 full of layouts. Oh, that's go wild. This was a really fun. Yeah. You can go add some pages to it. I had some journaling cards that come up. Uh, it was very easy to punch things in here. I really love this style of planning. So that was the old way of doing it. And they just came out with this way. This is called Love This Moment. It's very neutral. That's the one. There's another one that has like a lot of pastel colors. And I kind of prefer that one. But for the layout that I'm doing today, that I'm going to be doing today, this is perfect. I took some photos. And instead of using my HP Sprocket, I did, there's also the Canon Selfie, and it's a great way to print at home, but I ran out of the photo paper that you need. You need a special photo paper. I ran out of it. I did not wanna to have to order from Amazon and have to wait a few days. So I just did the hour processing at my local CVS, and I got all my pictures from my daughter's prom done very quickly. I did do a couple of odd sizes. I did a, I guess this is like a five by five, six by six and I did this is like a bigger like a five by seven I'm really sure this must be a five. Oh no it's a six yikes I don't know what size this is but it's not a four by six this is a four by six see it's a little bit better so it looks like it's a six by four and a half or five six by five anyway you you pay a lot more for these odd sizes so I didn't do many of them I just took that that would be my main photo and I took that photo. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it on the same page. And the rest I did just four by six because very cheap, very quick to do. I totally recommend going to your local CVS or Walgreens or Rite Aid, whatever you have in your area. I think the quality is just as good. And you get them quick. You don't have to wait. I mean, the HP Sprocket, this is great. And the Canon Selfie is great. I'm not going to say it's not. And you can also do a photo collage. I think I did a couple of photo collages here. So you can get your different sizes if you use an app called pick stitch which I have on my phone it's a very easy uh, intuitive way of collaging your photos on a four by six so you get different sizes so I did I have an example of two here this is a 
like four, and then I put three on the side. So I'm not knocking this selfie or the sprocket, but for me, for this, when you have a lot of photos to print, I really do recommend CVS or, you know, those photo processing places. They're very good. All right, so let's get to work. First of all, I have to decide which, the good thing about this is nothing is dated. I can do, pick a page from the middle of the planner, take it out and put it in the front. So let's see, I wanted something. And the pictures I have are gonna be pretty neutral, so I'm not worried about this neutrality here. My summer pictures are going to be very colorful because I'm going to Florida. So what I do love is I will be using this and I will be putting these pages into this planner when I need some color. This is, this is called Brights. It's the Happy Memory Keeping double-sided sheet. It's a pre-punched cardstock pad. I will do a quick flip through. I have a flip through of this on my plan, on my, on my channel. But if you haven't seen it, this, look how cool. Look at those colors. I can't use this for this particular um, spread because it's too bright and too colorful. And my daughter, of course, chose a black dress. My daughter's a very neutral girl. She chose black. It's, it was a beautiful dress. It worked gorgeous. It was gorgeous, but it's not colorful. So I'm gonna do these neutral pages. And I think this particular planner, if you are, what are they calling it? A photo journal layout, happy journal. So this particular happy journal is very neutral. It'd be great for weddings or bridal showers or uh, like family get togethers, maybe like Thanksgiving or something, but it's very neutral. It's not me. It's not like your fun, if you have kids and you wanna do a summer vacation layout, it's not gonna be ideal. But let's see, I'm trying to look for, like this is good, I like this. So here we have like a five by seven area and it says where, when, who. And then we have, this is totally blank. So you can do what you want. So I think this is going to be my main focus. And I think I'm going to use, actually I know I'm going to use these Mambi sticks. These are the black ones. You can get them at Joanne. And let's see, I'm gonna go sit down. I was sta I, I've been standing up this whole time. I'm gonna finally sit down. So I cut out the letters for prom night already. And I think I'm gonna have it like coming up and then like that. So P, R, O, M, here we go. And then night like this. So this kind of fits in there perfectly. And I'm not really sure what stickers I'm gonna be using around it. I do have this sticker book. Can't believe I haven't shown this yet. Happy memory keep, keeping. And of course, it's also very neutral. I have these, these quotes in black I might add here and there in this spread. But a lot of it is, it rotates between being being like pastel-y, which doesn't work, or completely neutral. But I don't like beige, but of course it does match with the background here. And these frames are great, but it doesn't match at all the, the size that I'm using here but I do like those. So maybe I'll do some of these. I don't know, with the black, it might clash. Maybe I'll do some gold foil. We'll see, we'll go through there later. I'm going to be using my tweezers. I love these things. All right, maybe I should take the pages off the planner. So I'm just gonna do a main page. I have way more photos than I need for just one double spread layout, but of course, prom night is gonna be like maybe three or four, I have so many photos, I'll probably do three or four pages of it, but I'm just gonna do one for now for this video. And the whole thing is ruined. Okay, I'm just gonna take this out. It's just easier to work with when you don't have the discs in your way. And I love that you can take them out. So if I had, if I had ticket stubs to prom, I could put that in there as well. But my daughter is not sentimental. This is really not for her, this is for me because she doesn't keep scrapbooks or anything like that. This is totally for me. She would, She's not one to keep a, uh, a ticket stub to put in a scrapbook. Not at all. But she sure is cute. So now I'm going to speed up the camera and start putting these stickers down. I will link in the description box below the different products that I recommend for pictures. I will... Put the HP Sprocket down below, the Selfie, the 
the app that I like to use to make photo collages. There are different apps, but I like to use PicStitch, like I said before, and I'll put that, hopefully I can link that somehow in the description box below. I'll try to do that. So here I am making the letters hopefully as straight as possible and positioning that main focus point. When I do a, a scrapbooking layout, or in this case, a memory planning layout, I like to have one picture that's the focus. So I'm like, that's my focus and everything else will go around it. So this title hopefully is straight and frames that photo nicely. And now that I'm looking at the photo, I think it needs some sort of anchor to it. So I might take a piece of cardstock and mat that photo just so that it's framed just to give it, to anchor it down, you know what I mean? So you'll see the difference when I take out a sheet. I'm gonna go through the, actually the cardstock pad. I think had some black and white sheets. So I'm just gonna go flip through it here, see if there's anything that I find that would be good to map that photo, something like that. Let's take it out. It's sad that I'll be using the other side of it because I did like the other side of that sheet. But I didn't feel like going through all my scrapbooking card stocks right now. So this just was in front of me, so this is what I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball it. I don't like to measure these sort of things, but there will be about one inch to one eighth, one, one inch. I mean one fourth of an inch to one eighth of an inch around the photo. I'm just gonna put a little, mark it down with a pencil and use my trimmer. This is a Fiskars trimmer. I love it, it makes very easy cutting and it really makes it straight. I totally recommend something like this. Even for planning, even if you don't scrapbook, it comes in handy all the time. I use it very often. So there we go, that's my photo with the mat on it and I think it really makes a world of difference. It, it elevates it a little bit. So I'm going to adhere that to the cardstock and then adhere that to the, to the page. Here I am looking for, probably looking for my adhesive. There it is, there's my Tombow adhesive. I have a lot of trouble with this one. As you can see here, <laughs> I go back and forth. I don't know that I'd recommend this particular Tombow. So there we go. I don't like to use glue sticks. We're way beyond that. So these things, these roller, these roller adhesive things are great. I mean, it's, they don't last very long and it's such a waste of plastic, but I don't like glue sticks for this kind of work because everything will bubble up. There we go, looks really cute. I might add some things around it. I'm gonna go through the memory keeping line sticker book and see if there's any quotes that I could use. I'm gonna go back to those black and white quotes at the end to see if there's anything that I could use. This one looks really great. It may be too long for this page. It has been the most amazing week, I think it says but I've, I realized it was too long and I put it right back down. So that didn't work out, that's too bad. Something like that if it had said, it's been the most amazing day or the most amazing night, and if it fit in there, that would have been perfect. But here's another one that says, love this day, and I did love this day. So I think that's also gonna be very nice to put down on the bottom there. And then I'm gonna fill in the journaling, of course, at a later date, not right now. This is for the fun stuff. Okay, so now for the right side of the page, I'm gonna make a little collage of different other parts of the night or the pictures that I could gather. Some were from the website, from our school website, some were from friends that gave them to me. And there was a pre-prom party that I, um, the parents were allowed to go to, so I do have some pictures of that as well. So I'm just going through them. They're all, most of them are four by sixes and it's too bad because I would have really liked to make a, a collage using all of these. But I'm just gonna to have to have more pages. I did put some of these, I did make a little collage here, four of the same photos to send to like my mom and stuff of her and her date. So I'll just stick that in between there. I didn't want all of these photos to be the same size. I am going to crop that other photo on the right upper right hand side using my Fiskars cutting tool or my trimmer. I'm just gonna cut the top and the bottom because those are really unnecessary parts of the picture and it, I don't need that space there. So I'm just gonna crop it off and have it fit perfectly in there. That's my daughter and her date getting into his car as they go and I was able to take one last picture of them 
as they left. It was very cute. I might have to do the side of that as well. So I'm gonna cut a little bit, like one eighth of an inch on that right hand. I never measure anything, I just eyeball it. I can't even imagine how you'd wanna do that measuring. I wouldn't even know how. But I think it, in the end, it all came together perfectly. So I'm just gonna go through and see if there's any other pictures that I could use that could fit in there. Just going back and forth. And now I'm going to adhere all these photos down, again with that Tombow adhesive roller, which I'm really not liking at this point because I'm having a terrible time with it. You have to hold it a certain way for the adhesive to, to, to get, to attach itself to the photo. And I guess here you don't really notice it that much because I, I sped up the camera, but it was really hard to get. But they're kind of expensive, so it's not like I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna use it till it's finished and then find something else. So I'm gonna go through this book again, and for that bottom right-hand corner there, I think I wanna put a journaling spot, but I don't know if it should be like a sticker or what. So I'm just gonna put this down and go through the book and see if there's anything that I can add, maybe even from that cardstock pack. So I'm gonna try to make sure that the distance between each photo there is consistent. So I'm gonna go through this and see if there's any part, anything that I could use. See like how about on the other side of there, there's these little, looks like those white squares. I could just cut that out and turn that into a little journaling square. I'm not sure, I'm just gonna see if there's anything else in here. I'm gonna put that aside, finish off with this picture and go back, maybe back to the sticker book and see if there's anything else. Or I can just add lines. But I'm going back and forth in my head, not really sure what I'm gonna do at this point. See, those are really cool. I can put it to the side there and I could use that as a journaling corner, but it's a little big for that space. Maybe this one, also a little big. And I decide I'm going to put lines. Just gonna, oh, there's, the, Moments like this, I thought I would put that on the top of there because there's that empty, I don't want to call it white space, but there's nothing up there and I thought I would just anchor the photo down with that sticker. It says moments like this, which is kind of perfect. And that I downloaded from the school website and the picture was amazing, like so crisp and clear. Much better than my iPhones. Okay, so here I'm adding my journaling, like my lines with a ruler using my Papermate Ink Joy Gel 0 0.7 pen, which maybe, I, hopefully I'll remember to link in the description box below as well. One of my favorite pens for journaling in scrapbooking. Really, really love this pen. It's easy to use. And I'm going through this other book. I took out Fancy Blooms. This is a new one as well. I don't know if it's really part of the Memory Planner line, but it came in my squad box. And it's very similar to the uh, to another black and white floral book that they had that came with the bloom box, the black and white bloom black box. So I'm going to use these. I think it works well with this theme. I'm not a fan in general of these, of this book, but this is a good place to use it. I'm going to put a floral down here. I think that looks, that looks good. And I'm going to put a little bit more on the left-hand side just to make everything cohesive. I'm gonna have some leaves coming off from the side there. Make it very discreet, subtle. And I'm really liking how this page came together. It's very simple, nothing mind blowing, but you don't want anything too crazy in your scrapbook spreads because the, the focus has to be on the journaling and on the photos, not necessarily on the artistic value of it. Although it's great if it is fun and artistic, but you know, the, the, you have to look at why you're doing something, the purpose, and the purpose of this spread is to just have a place for these photos to stay in and keep them center, front and center. I want the photos to be the highlight of this spread. So I'm gonna keep the stickers at a minimum. So just, just going back and forth about where I'm gonna put these as I open. You know, scrapbooking could be a really quick thing or it could take forever. In this case, it's taking forever. Okay, so here's one last sticker. And I think my spread is done. I just have to add the journaling. I think it looks cute there. 
There's a close-up of that page and a close-up of the other one. And there's my spread. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check me out on Instagram at Twinkle Plans Today. Thanks so much for watching.